from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Thursday, September 17th, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. A Claire's woman is facing federal charges of stealing almost $1,200 from two post offices. 45-year-old Lori Haberly is accused of taking the money from post offices in Claire's and Quake Ake. She's been indicted by a grand jury. On Tuesday, he indicted the Klein Township Haberbell and had been a U.S. Postal Service support employee. Assistant U.S. Attorney John Garamus Jr. is prosecuting the case, which was investigated by the U.S. Postal Service. If convicted, she faces a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine under federal law. A man from Hazleton has been charged with a number of felonies and he's no stranger to police. The Hazleton Police Narcotics Unit arrested 21-year-old Viznady Martinez and charged him with felony counts of delivery of a controlled substance, possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance, and two counts of criminal use of a communication facility. Martinez was currently on bail from a previous case involving aggravated assault, resisting arrest, and attempting to disarm a law enforcement officer. The Fraternal Order of Constables says those who hold the office in Luzerne County are owed $567,000. The group reviewed financial records from all 67 counties in the state. Luzerne's back pay is the fifth highest in the state. Constable is an elected position, which is not a paid salary. But they mostly perform court functions, such as serving warrants and subpoenas, transporting prisoners, and the like. They're supposed to be paid per function in cases where a defendant is found innocent or in the county is responsible for paying in civil cases and in landlord-tenant dispute payments due in 15 days. In criminal cases, it's 30 days. The FOC says often nobody pays. While most of the unpaid fees are under $50, some have been owed since the early 1990s. But the organization says constables are worried that if they say anything about late payments, they won't get work anymore. The FOC is advocating a legislative solution. An accident on Interstate 81 slowed down traffic for about an hour early this morning. It happened between the Blackman Street and Highland Park Boulevard exits in Wilkesbury Township. Police say a minivan crashed into a tractor trailer. The van was severely damaged. Police have not yet said whether anyone was hurt. One lane was closed while crews cleaned up. It reopened around 5.15 this morning. If he wants to hold his seat, Rice Township Supervisor Robert Petrich has to run again this year. Petrich was appointed a supervisor in July, filling a vacancy created by the resignation of Mark Tanney. He resigned after police questioned the discharge of a firearm near his home. Tanney had served less than two years, meaning his term would have expired at the end of 2019. Peebeck believed that he would have the seat until 2017, the next round of municipal elections. But the Luzerne County Bureau of Elections ruled he has to run in November. That's because the appointment was made more than 60 days before the general election. A counter offer from the governor in the long-running budget standoff. A month after it was issued, Governor Wolf formally rejected the legislature's offer of $400 million for education in exchange for some action on liquor stores and a big change in the state pension system. But then he put up an offer of his own. Wolf proposed leasing out the management of the retail and wholesale liquor system through a competitive bid process. He proposed the lease run at least 10 years and no more than 25, and all that current employees be retained by whoever gets the lease. But the lessee would have the option of closing existing stores and or opening new ones. And there's a pension offer as well. Under it, all future state and public school employees would see their so-called defined benefit pension capped at a $75,000 income level. Any income earned over that would be bumped to a 401k style plan. He also wants to float $3 billion in a new bond to pump new cash in the public school employees retirement system. So far, no reaction from leaders in the House or the Senate. Attorney General Kathleen Kane was in Commonwealth Court on Wednesday. Her lawyers and those representing the Philadelphia Inquirer argued over the release of more pornographic emails from her office. 
Kane's attorney argued only emails relating to government business have to be released under the right to know law. But Terry Mutcher, representing the inquirer, said all the emails are public records and should be released. Kane's office released some of the pornographic emails. He was the first head of the state's open records office. Residents of Klein Township will be able to kick their old TV sets to the curb, but there are still time to dispose all of your unwanted electronic items around your home. Workers in the township collected truckloads of old television sets and computer monitors from the neighborhood. Officials tell us that today was the only time that crews would be re retrieving the electronic items from the homes. However, citizens can drop off their unwanted items at the garage. This is the second uh, year uh, that we've had the uh, pickup. Last year it was uh, considerably more uh, electronics that we picked up. We must have had four or five truckloads of uh, electronics to, uh, that we delivered down at Tobacco Transfer. Uh, this year it was much easier. Uh, we maybe have a truck uh, or two trucks to deliver down at Tobacco Transfer. Super Supervisor Carmen Kara told us why the electronics cannot be picked up on a regular During the basis. Year, people still think that the uh, our garbage collection will pick up the TVs and electronic appliances, which they won't do. Uh, and uh, so we could turn around and, and find the people for putting them outside, but we just don't want the people putting their stuff on the sidewalks, the electronic stuff. Uh, it's once a year that we'll have the pickup, and uh, next year around this time again, we'll have the electronic pickup. Uh, next week, too, if if uh, the people want, they could take their stuff down individually down to Tamako Transfer and uh, drop it off down there. For more information, if you are not planning on dropping the items off of the Township Garage, you can call the Tamaqua Transfer Station at 570-668-4515. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Another hot and sunny day for northeastern Pennsylvania, but will it continue through to our weekend? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe? Well, things are looking pretty good as we head through the next couple of days across our area. And once again, dry across the entire northeast. No precipitation to deal with. Any precipitation out through uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois making its way into Michigan and parts of Indiana. But for our area, we're dry. We'll continue to stay dry through this evening and through tonight. Fairly mild temperatures across the northeast, but we wake up in the morning with some cool temperatures, 50s, even some upper 40s out there. And also, we got some fog to deal with, which we've had the last several mornings. We'll have it tomorrow morning as well. And it is nice temperature-wise right now, 76 in New Angola and 83 degrees in Berwick. Your complete seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, details on how the city of Hazleton is trying to spruce up. Plus, a look at this year's Greater Hazleton United Way campaign. Stay tuned. More news is headed your way only on WYLN. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Chief Videographer Mike Lula, Weather with Meteorologist Joe Garbacic, Sports with Eric D. Berardinas, and Gabriella Justin. Theodora's Restaurant in Drums, Pennsylvania, the area's premier spot for delicious American cuisine. Open for lunch and dinner, Chef Drew's diverse menu, including his weekly specials, certain to satisfy any appetite, and our ambiance, as appealing as our cuisine. We offer a variety of settings, indoor dining, private rooms, indoor and outdoor bars, and beautiful patio seating. Whether you want a meal out or to throw an event, from an intimate party to wedding, check us out. Theodora's Restaurant, American cuisine, world-class ambiance. Edgewood in the Pines, located in Drums, provides the perfect scenery in any season to complement your wedding or special event. From the spectacular colors of fall, a cozy winter setting, or the plush greens of summer, Edgewood will provide a breathtaking setting for your exceptional affair. Edgewood is perfect for weddings, birthday celebrations, showers, baptism, or any special event. From small, intimate gatherings to breathtaking formal affairs, your event is certain to be an amazing experience to remember for years to come. Celebrate at Edgewood in the Pines. Introducing CrossFit Drums at Cloud9 Personal Training and Fitness, the Greater Hazleton area's first and only CrossFit affiliate. 
We still offer our traditional monthly gym memberships and one-on-one -on -one personal training, but have expanded to also offer CrossFit classes taught by multiple level one CrossFit certified trainers. We are open seven days a week, 365 days a year to help you achieve your fitness goals. CrossFit drums at Cloud9 Personal Training and Fitness. Now open and ready to get you in the shape of your life. Officials in Hazleton are trying to make the city a nicer place to live by fixing the homes that are falling down. WYLN's Gary Perna has more on the work the city is doing. Hazleton City is trying to clean up the city one property at a time. And for the past few years, the city has been buying up foreclosed homes, remodeling them, and putting the houses up for sale. Hazleton Mayor Joe Yanuzzi said this city was awarded grants and used CDBG monies to fix up four homes so far. We uh, got a grant, $500,000 grant. We went out and looked for foreclosed houses. We found two of them and we purchased them and we totally remodeled them. And uh, as we were doing that, we got another grant. We went into uh, two other houses, so we had four total and uh, we remodeled them and since they've been remodeled two have been sold and the other two are just they're up for sale the city also has a property where they ripped down a building and are putting a module home up there are, these both properties are on uh, walnut and chestnut street uh, east there's one on wyoming street across from uh, st gabriel's church which uh, we went and had the Catholic Social Services purchase it, remodel it, and sell it with grant money. So all in all, we had like five buildings done and we sold two and we're on the process of selling at least two more. The project is for low-income residents in the city that meet certain criteria and have to attend classes on budgeting and finances. Yanuzi said the project is great for the city. Yes, what it does is it takes these uh, foreclosure homes, which are tax-free, and turns them into uh, income profit, I income producing for the uh, city of Hazleton. Uh, they get back on a tax roll, but they also change the uh, aesthetics of the area by uh, remodeling these homes in uh, blighted uh, areas that sort of enhance that uh, area. The mayor said all the work goes out for bid and they just don't slap paint on it. It's a total makeover. They're not just gone and painted and done. We go in, we put a whole new heating system in and air conditioning. We take the kitchens out and put a new kitchen in, new washer dryers. We go in, we remodel the whole bathroom. We come out, we do the steps, the sidewalks, uh, and plant grass, and fence the area. So it's a complete home when you get it. Uh, we put more money in than we sell it for because of the amount of work we do. And it's the purpose of uh, getting homes for uh, the people in the low income bracket. The city can't profit from it, he said, so the homes are sold at market value. If interested in enrolling in the program, you need to contact the city's Community Development Department in City Hall. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. Thank you, Gary. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Grabachik is back with a full look at our forecast, plus a look back at last night's Greater Hazleton United Way kickoff of the annual campaign. That and much more coming up here on WYLN. Stay tuned. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Hi, I'm Marty Burns. Join me every week for Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. I'll be joined by head coach Mike Brennan, and each week we'll talk about the past week's game, look ahead to a future opponent, and have some special guests. So join us the entire season of Hazleton Area High School football right here on Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. You can see it here on WYLN. 
Join us this week on Women Today. Our topic is faith and our youth. We'll have two pastors from the Hill City Church, one of which is a very accomplished musician. They're going to talk about how you can make faith accessible to your adolescent. We'll have the Simply Homebrew Wine of the Week. We'll cook with Kathy. We'll have another great giveaway. And wait till you find out who our woman on the move is. That's all coming up this week on Women Today. Join us. it is a very nice day. It's been a nice day across our area. We have, for the most part, clear skies overhead. No precipitation to deal with. We've had those warmer temperatures today feeling pretty nice. And you can actually hear some crickets. If you don't remember my one lecture from crickets, all you got to do is count the number of chirps a cricket makes in 14 seconds. Add to that 40. And that'll give you what the actual estimated temperature is outside without you having any type of fancy gadgets or gizmos. Try it out. You'll see it's true, because I never lie. All right, on to the graphic for today. And there you can see high pressure in control across the northeast. And as long as that's in control, we're going to continue to see the nice weather across our area. And this is hanging tough. It's remaining parked just slightly off of the Atlantic and it's really pumping into warmer air and it's giving us these nice conditions that have been prevailing. No precipitation to deal with across our area. It continues to remain dry. 79 degrees are live Lehigh tire conditions outside our television station in Hazleton and those dew point numbers a little bit on the higher side in the mid to upper 60s. 83 now Wilkes Barre Scranton International Airport 82 in Williamsport 79 degrees in State College holding in the 80s in the Wyoming Valley area. Satellite and radar, some clouds off of the Atlantic, but for our area, we continue to remain dry, high pressure and control. Hey, it's looking very nice. Continuing to look nice. As we head through tonight, tomorrow, looking nice. You see some precipitation out toward the west, of seeing any type of precipitation that is even going to fizzle away as it makes its way toward the east here's a look at the temperatures as we go through tonight not doing too bad tomorrow another warm day across our area we got 70s and 80s dropping down into the 50s as we head into tomorrow night early saturday morning so again we'll continue to have some of that early morning fog going into tomorrow light winds low humidity values and seasonably warm temperatures take advantage of this weather while it lasts, Saturday will also be a repeat of what we saw today and what we're going to continue to see as we head into tomorrow. Extended forecast looking like this. It's looking very nice. A morning fog for tomorrow once again. 77 looking very nice, pleasant for our Saturday. A little cooler as we go into our Sunday in the 60s. And then generally 60s, lower 70s as we head into next week. And like I said, if you want rain, it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. This dry weather is going to continue to stay persistent over the next several days. Our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers, the pick 201, the pick 3959, and the pick 45806. Well, there's another look at some other numbers for you. 784734, the pick five, and the treasure hunt numbers 414, 18, 20, and 23. Stick around. We'll continue to have more for you coming up after these commercial messages. WYLN TV 35 has strong ties to the community as evident in its commitment to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helpline Cancer Society Tilt Funds. WYLN's commitment to Northeastern Pennsylvania continues with a broadcast of Hazelton's Fun Fest Parade and both Christmas and St. Patrick's Day parades in Wilkes-Barre. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Giants of Spare Hill Flag, and throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other events. WYLN, we're your local network.
Watch Off the Beaten Path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. A local organization kicked off its annual campaign last evening in Hazel Township. Our Julie Stefanovich has more on the United Way's kickoff event. It's that time of the year for the United Way annual campaign kickoff. The sights and sounds of summer were in the air last night at Janetti's. Members and donors celebrated in style at a luau-type setting. The power of possibility was the theme unveiled for 2015-2016 fiscal year. Contributions to the United Way help feed the hungry, clothe the poor, and provide financial support to its member agencies. And we're going to, over the next 15 to 16 weeks, be showing examples to the community of what can happen when the community rallies together behind United Way to give, to advocate, to volunteer. We'll be showing instances where there are many wonderful things that happen with the power of possibility. There is also an incentive program for donors. They had the chance to win prizes next year, which included two-year lease on a new vehicle from the Greater Hazleton Automotive Partnership. Other great items are also on the prize list. We have dozens of prizes once again for people that give $2 a week, $4 a week, or $5 a week to our United Way. Our good friend John Keegan at Heights Terrace Pharmacy has given us a celebrity autographed Nittany Lion. That's also in our incentive package along with about two dozen other prizes. And yes, folks, we will be offering once again a year's worth of Jimmy's hot dogs. A couple of pups from Therapy Dog International were at tonight's event. This is one of the many agencies who help the community with the assistance of the United Way. It's part of uh, hospice, helping hands, and these are agencies that receive help from United Way. And uh, they help the patients. United Way helps them. The Helping Hand Society is also a member agency. It has touched the lives of countless children in the Hazleton area throughout the years. We're just happy to be a part of it. They, they do so much for so many nonprofit organizations and it's a great idea this year coming out here, extending the summer a little bit. And we're very thankful to the United Way for all they do for us. They help, you know, throughout the year and they help many people. It's just a great organization and we're very thankful to them. To donate or become involved, you can visit unitedwayhazelton.org or call 570-455-9515. In Hazel Township, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. Coming up next, Eric DiBerardinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. It's high school football time. Watch WILN for all the local high school football action as we bring you the event, not just the highlights, like only WILN can. Watch the game of the week right here on WILN. We're your local network. For the best in local sports, watch WILN TV 35. The event, not just the highlights. Hello. We love Johnny Cash. The L.C. Wiltsy Center presents David Stone, the Johnny Cash Experience. <laughs> September 18th at 7.30 p.m. at the L.C. Wiltsy Center in Hazleton. Get your tickets for this amazing show at Ticketmaster.com or Boscov's in Hazleton. WILN brought you Hazleton area football the first two weeks of the season. This Friday, we'll be live in Mahanoy as the Golden Bears host Panther Valley in the game of the week. A look at that game and the rest of week three in the Anthracite League. Things change over the course of a year, but entering Friday, there are a lot of similarities to Mahanoy's 19-12 victory over the Panthers in 2014. The coaches previewed the matchup. Last year was a very competitive football game. Uh, we were coming off of a big win against Schuylkill Haven. Uh, obviously similar to this year and um, you know it was it was down to the one of the last plays of the game until we solidified the win so we're expecting a, you know a toe-to-toe -to -toe game um, they're a fast team they're a shifty team so we have to uh, focus focus mainly on this week form tackling I mean our kids are excited we, we've been playing well 
but at the same time, just having good effort on a Friday night isn't getting us any wins. So we, we need to break through. We need to get a win. Uh, Mono is, is definitely going to be a very tough game. They, you know, we, we lost to Haven week one. They beat Haven last week. Um, they have great skilled kids. You know, they graduated a bunch of guys up front, but you know, a testament to Coach Holman does a great job up there. Their, their line, they, they look solid again. The milestone watch continues for Marion Catholic head coach Stan DeCosti. DeCosti is just two wins away from 300 for his career, and the Colts should get him to 299 with a win over Minersville. In 2014, North Schuylkill and Lee Heighton were the Anthracite League's two best teams. The Spartans are coming off a crushing loss to Blue Mountain in Week 2, while the Indians are out to avenge last season's 28-28-5 28 to 25 defeat. This game will feature the two best linebackers in the conference with Wyatt Clements for Lee Heighton and Major Jordan for Norris Schuylkill. Shenandoah Valley and Schuylkill Haven each seeking their first victory. Last year the Hurricanes shut out the Blue Devils, but we should see a closer affair on Friday. Jim Thorpe has unleashed the Red Swarm on two Class A opponents, but now must travel to Tamaqua for a matchup with the AA Blue Raiders. Expect a battle on the ground with a mix of backs for the Olympians and Bud Moyer primarily toting the rock for Tamaqua. And lastly, the Route 61 rivalry with winless Pottsville making the short trip to number two team in our power rankings, Blue Mountain. The Eagles coming off a huge win against North Schuylkill and should fly by the tide. From the Spartans to the Scarlet Knights, on Wednesday an anthracite league Three sport athlete announced his college choice and choice of sport. North Schuylkill's Tevin Murray excels at wide receiver in football and as a big man in basketball, but decided to pursue baseball at the collegiate level and announced he will be attending Rutgers University. Murray, a pitcher, tallied a 2.9 ERA as a junior while also hitting 352 at the plate. Rutgers football will take on Penn State this Saturday in the first ever Beaver Stadium stripe out. The Nittany Lions aim to translate the big time atmosphere into another win over the Scarlet Knights. Should be a great environment here. I'm really, really excited about the stripe out. Um, the white out here has been embraced for a long time and been a really cool thing. Um, you know, I, we take a lot of pride in our colors, the blue and white. So what a better way to show that, to stripe the stadium out, have fun with it. This could be become another tradition at Penn State that people get really excited about and have fun with. And the matchup with Rutgers tonight on Late Edition. But next, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. Stay tuned. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Dr. Stacy is on vacation, but we're joined by Lauren, a busy young lady who had some pretty serious health problems, and she's now feeling so much better with good chiropractic care. Her story this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us. Well, this weather that we've been seeing the last couple of days will be sticking around for the next several days. Uh, really, there's no sight of any type of rain across our area whatsoever as we go into the weekend, even as we go into next week. And these temperatures are just beautiful for this time of year. Definitely can't have any bad words to say about the weather we've been having. And if you do have anything bad to say about it, well... It's the U.S. It's, it's your freedom of choice. You can express it how you want it. But there you can see over the next seven days, it looks great. Some morning fog, that's about it. I think I knew where you were going with that. <laughs> you did. I, you I read my mind I'm just a little sure. bit. 
Okay. Yeah. Eric and I were kind of looking at each other like, all right, we'll just let him go with this. I guess you're running out of things to say about the nice There's not much you can say. I mean, there's, there's so, so many things you can, there's really nothing going on. It's not a way, it's it's certainly a way to end summer, though. Sure thing. Yeah, yeah but should it's be good be. for our live game tomorrow night at Ma Noy, Ma Noy and Panther Valley, our game of the week. Should be a good one. Tune in. 7 o'clock. Make sure you watch it if you can head out to the game. Have a good night, everyone.